I've had this Bowman 234 for many years and for various reasons I've never actually got round to steaming it so it was a bit uh, stiff so I've um, oiled it up and freed it up it's, and it's now at the stage where it will run quite happily on a little bit of compressed air seems free enough now. It's been running like this for a few minutes with plenty of light oil in the uh, in the cylinders and the bearings. So the next stage will be to put some meths in it and see if it will stand up to steam. The boiler may be full of leaks, I've no idea. There's no obvious ones, but we'll see. Okay, I've filled the uh, 234 up with water and meths and check for obvious large leaks, there don't appear to be any. So now we've got to work out how to light these wicks. Now the only way I can think of is with these extra long matches. Unfortunately, these are rather old matches and you don't want to light. There we go. So, somewhere in there. One, two. Three, four. Four of the wicks lit. Two of them are capped off. So we now have to wait to get some steam. Now this is the first time I've ever fired this up since I bought it many years ago. So we may have some problems. Hopefully not. But if you do, you'll see them. I can hear some slight hissing. But I doubt if it's up to steam yet. I think that was just dripped water boiling away. pressure there. Just in case I've got some fire control equipment. Spray, water spray. So I've got a proper fire extinguisher downstairs if it really gets out of hand. I 
I've heard many stories about these things, some of them quite dramatic. But I think the main problem is only if it derails and turns over while it's running. And as soon as I don't have any track handy, that's not going to happen today. You can see the four wicks under the boiler there. There's a maximum of six, but uh, as I said, two of them are capped off. I'm sure even four will be too much for a test run. We're getting some more determined hissing now, so I assume that's the water boiling. We have a little bit of pressure. And there we go. She runs on steam. First time guaranteed in 10 years since I bought it. I don't know how long it was before I bought it when it was last run. As you can quite easily see here, although it's built to look like a 440, it's actually only a two powered wheels. I haven't had anybody can tell me definitively what the designation is. Some people say 620. I'm not quite so sure. I would say it's probably something like 4 plus 2 to uh, Of course it's uh, an arrangement which would never be used in real life. So... Uh, It's uh, a moot point. Okay, this is a very large boiler, a very large mess tank, and it, I know it's, uh, it runs for ages, so I'm not going to uh, wait until it runs out, but I've proved that it works. <laughs> 